What's up guys, Brian here with Kami Tech Support. Gonna do another quick video on the Precision Control Plus Sharpener. Uh, this one's gonna be how to use and set up your stone thickness compensator. It's very easy. Um, when we're dealing with stones of different thickness, we need to adjust the angle each time we switch stones. Um, when it comes to our stones, the Gold Series Diamond Stones, the Lapping Film Blanks, and our Strops are all 3 16th inch thickness, so there's no need to compensate angle. But when you're dealing with our ceramic stones or Arkansas stones, they can vary in thickness. Uh, aftermarket stones and strops can vary in thickness. So let me get you zoomed in here a bit. All right. And what we're going to do, this is the shelf when we want to compensate stones. So let's say we're going to start with this ceramic stone. We just go ahead and lay it on that shelf. And then the compensator sits right on top of it. We release the stop collar and set it right there, tighten it up. And that's where we're gonna use uh, to compensate the rest of the time. So at this point, you can take the stone out. You can even take the compensator out. You can go ahead and do your sharpening. When you're ready to switch stones, you put the compensator back in. This stone happens to be thicker, so when I put it on there, it's gonna have a gap between the stop collar and the stone that you can see here. So what we wanna do is adjust our angle. So we release the tension on the post and then we're able to move our angle up and down. And we want it just like that. We want it flush with the stop collar and the stone. If I go too high or too low, you'll have a gap either at the stop collar or at the stone. So we want it just flush, just like that. We lock in our angle again and we go to sharpening. So when we're gonna go back to something thin, like say a strop, or in this case, I'll use that same ceramic as an example, we lay it on there and we've got a gap at the bottom. It's hard to see there. You can see that gap there. So we just adjust the back knob, let the angle down until it's just flush, lock the, lock the bar in again, and we're ready to, to finish or sharpen. All right, I hope that helps, folks. Give me a shout if you have any questions. Have a good one.